Democracy is the power of people and the voices of many. Jai Hind, everyone. The topic of my lecture for today is the pillars of democracy. So let me talk about what is democracy actually is. So democracy is the system of government by the people and for the people of our country. And if you talk about the importance of democracy, so uh, it plays a vital role to reframe our administration and also uh, increase the flexibility of the governance. And it also increase and just sustain uh, the sustainable development and also appreciate uh, like laws and enforcement which is implemented by uh, policies uh, political parties and assemblies as well as it also sustain free and fair elections and have better judgment if you talk about uh, some some uh, key factors and what are the four pillars of democracy and what are its functions so the pillars of democracy is further divided in four parts legislature executive and uh, media and uh, last one is uh, last one is that judiciary if you talk about legislature legislature is is responsible for the uh, creation of the laws and like uh, and various schemes and it is further divided in two parts that is uh, lok sabha and rajya sabha and if you talk about the judiciary so judiciary is the responsible to save the uh, to to save and frame and protect our constitution as well as give the right judgment and also we can say it's uh, its main function is to work on the interpretation of the the power as well as laws and enforcement which is implemented by legislature if you talk about executive so it, the main function of executive is to work on the implementation of the power and last one is that the media media shows the power of expression and power of speech as well as also just dissimulate the uh, the laws and schemes which is implemented by judiciary uh, judiciary uh, legislature as well as executive if you talk about some key challenges where we are focusing that how our pillar of uh, like our democratic environment is not working properly like we are just lacking the collaborative governance like or the fourth pillar of democracy is not working uh, in 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 their collaboration due to the inflexibility of the governance as well as corruption and uh, so th these are the key challenges over there as well as if you talk about our judicial system so there are so many cases are pending so it shows that how we are lacking behind over there if you talk about uh, the problem how we can resolve this problem so first we need to make awareness among the people and also just in this the schemes like uh, one nation one election policy we need also be implemented on that as well as we need also appreciate uh, foreign policies and foreign direct investment so that we can make a better implemented government and reframement our uh, reframement of power as well as better execution of the governance thank you and jain